so today I created this really pretty makeup look and I also tried out these really cool eyelashes they're magnetic guys so if you guys want to see how to create this look please keep watching so right now I've got on my eyebrows I used a brand new product from Too Faced well I don't know if it's brand new but I just received it and it's a chocolate brownie cocoa powder pencil and it's really nice because it's like an angled type of situation but it just smells like chocolate. How do they put the smell of chocolate in all of their products? I do not know. So I just received this brand new product from Huda Beauty and it's in a little cracker. It's so cute. I literally don't know what's inside here, but I want to do it on camera and open it. So let's see what's inside. Okay guys, so I'm going to try to pull it. Okay, so inside that Christmas cracker, I've got a little lip set and this is bombshell lip set. Oh my God, it's so cute. So it comes with a lip gloss, a lip liner and a matching liquid lip set. Oh my God, that's like the cutest present ever. Look at these lips as well. Juicy. Then I also got two faux mink lashes. I got one in Samantha and one in Jade. I already have these already. And then what I'm most excited about is these two right here. So I got an electric obsessions and then a smoky obsessions eyeshadow palette. Oh, oh my god, these are actually really small go. No! <sighs> Why me? Why me? Okay, so I just swatched this Smoky Obsessions palette, even though it's all broken. Why? Why? DHL, why? But I just swatched this shade right here. The pigment in here, I think, is different to the other eyeshadows that she has. Like, these are, like, really smooth. Like, super, 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 super smooth. The brush I'm using is from Marc Jacobs, and it's called the Shadow Brush. And I'm going to go in with the Smoky Obsessions palette. I'm just going to grab some of this pigment right here. So I'm just using a bit of the NYX Glitter Adhesive Primer and obviously this is not glitter but I always find when you use something like this to prime the eyes first it just helps adhere everything on a lot better. Oh my god, damn. If you like Woodwick from MAC you would love this colour, it's like even more intense and a bit more bronzy. It's similar to like Amber Light but the texture of Woodwick from MAC. So I'm literally just packing this on all over the eyelid and I'm just leaving this outer corner so we can smoke it out with a matte shade. This colour, oh my god, it goes on literally like foil. I can feel as well when I put it on that the pigments are very soft. That's probably why it's shattered. So you have to be very careful when you're putting this in your handbag, guys. And it's really cool as well because I only use a little bit and literally when I put it on, look how freaking amazing and shiny that is. Please excuse my voice, by the way, if I sound really croaky. I just come back from Amsterdam where I was like screaming and partying. That's probably why my voice is so croaky. <laughs> So with a MAC 230 brush, I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade. I have to be very careful holding up this palette, but it's this dark brown shade right in the corner. It's got a lot of pigment. Ooh, it's a bit dusty. So I'm just putting this on my outer corners into like a V shape because I want to start to give my eyes a more smoky appearance. So you always want to leave this bit matte right on its outer corners because if you put the shimmer all the way over and try to put the matte on top it will never go completely matte you know so this brown is a bit more of a cool tone brown it's not as warm as the shades i normally go for which is quite nice to switch up a bit okay and then with my blank canvas e25 brush it's like a big fluffy brush i'm going to go in with a transition shade okay so this is like a light warm brown and now this is going to be my transition shade so this is what's going to help blend this dark eyeshadow fade it into my skin tone so it's really nice that this palette has like a really really good warm kind of light brown shade and I'm literally just going to work this on the outer corners here and it just helps fade everything together it gives like a gradient kind of effect you know you see it starts to like blend into my skin tone a bit more because this transition shade is really really light the more that I put on it goes a bit lighter so we're gonna have to go back in and work in that dark brown shade I'm just going in between the two brushes again just to make it really really dark but also blended so Whenever I want to blend, I switch to the other brush, and then whenever I want to make something deeper, I go in with a smaller brush. Also, as well, you want to add a bit of that dark brown shade on the bottom, right here, just to help blend everything together and fade it all nicely. Okay, so now that I've done both eyes, I'm going to go in with a little bit of black. This is a MAC 224 brush, but it's a very, very small one. So any brush that you have that's like old and crusty like mine, or if you've got a brush that's similar like this, you want it to be quite small so it fits right into the socket. I'm going to go in with a black. I like this palette because it has a black, guys. So I'm just going in just on the exact corner bit. I don't want it to look like, oh my god, I'm putting on black eyeshadow. I want it to look like a really, really dark, blended, diffused, dark, dark brown. So you want to kind of 
carve this bit out just so it's really nice and defined. So you see the difference between this and this? This one's a little bit softer and this one's a bit more deeper, you know, we like it nice and deep. Ow! A little bit just along this bottom lash line. I love black eyeshadow guys. So many people like never use black eyeshadow but I have to use a black eyeshadow in nearly like all of my looks. Just as extra pajage, you know? Okay, so I'm going to put on some liquid liner now. And I've just got this new eyeliner from Tarte. It's called the Man Eater Liquid Liner. Yeah! So this is what the liquid liner pen looks like. It's super fine. It's one of those, like, thin hairs. So similar to the Kat Von D tattoo liner. But let's see if it's good. Oh, the eye. So I'm just leaning on my cheekbone right here. I'm starting on my outer corner first. Mmm, that's a black. And then I'm not going to start back in from here. I'm going to go down a little bit like this bit here. So like three quarters of the way back down. And that's when I'm going to go join straight down. So the brush is really, really fine and it's not too long. So you don't lose control of the brush. You get right close to the lash line as well. And then I'm going to look down into my mirror and kind of like look this way. So instead of looking like this, I put my mirror to the side and looking down to the left. To the left, to the left. Mm. One long swoop. Swoop to doop doop. And I just go over a couple of times to make it really black. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to quickly do the other eye. So I'm just going to grab a pencil line. This is the round the clock midnight pencil from Bare Minerals. So I'm just going to go on my upper water line. Yeah. Okay, so I just put on some quick mascara. And I've got these new products I want to show you guys. And I'm a bit scared to use it. But we're going to try. I'm gonna try again. So I just got these brand new hot off the press. I'm one of the first bloggers to try it. It's from Ardell and it's called Magnetic Lashes. <laughs> I'm not so scared to try it, but it says on here, easy to apply, no adhesive needed, reusable. You can even see in here, one stuck on top of each other, bitch. So this is literally brand new from Ardell Lashes and I've literally seen quite a few videos of people using it and they literally looked a bit cray cray. So let's try this. And then I've also got these corner lashes as well. So we're gonna try what it looks like on with just this. Okay, so on here you get the under lashes and then you get the upper lashes. So cool guys, I'm just freaking nervous, eh? Oh, I just dropped that bitch. So it has this one at the end, one uh, about third in, and then the same, but it's not one in the middle. It should add one more in the middle because that's when you get the gaping, you know what I mean? So this is what it looks like, and oh my god, look. Look, it's attaching itself. Oh, bitch. Oh. Okay, so it says go in with the upper lash line first and then gently remove the under lash from the tray and place beneath your natural lashes to connect the lashes together. Okay, girl. Okay. Do you know what? I think this would be so good for people that are allergic to lash glue because I know a lot of people are allergic to like even the latex free ones, you know, or you have like sensitive eyes and stuff. Okay, so let's go. This one's going to sit on top like that. This lash style's pretty. This would be so good if I had my bottom thumbnail right about now. And then we're gonna go underneath. Oh, 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 no, 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 that was scary. It happened all so fast. So I'm gonna put the lash on top again. You wanna put as close to the lash line as possible. Also, the only thing about these lashes, I do find that basically you can't trim the lashes, I don't think anymore. If you trim them, you can only trim like this much here, basically. You can only trim them like all the way up to here, but sometimes I just wanna trim one bit, you know? But then if you trim that bit, the magnetic bit will be gone, so can't do that. If you've got short eyes or small eyes, this might not be good for you. As close as I can to my lashes. And then I'm gonna go underneath. Oh my god, it worked, it worked. I could feel it grip. I, I heard the snap. It doesn't feel that secure though. If you guys look, it's not that close to my lash line. Do you know what's actually really nice about this is that my natural lashes underneath here, they normally stick down. So sometimes I find like if I don't curl my natural lashes, even when I put mascara on it, you can see my natural lashes. But because this is going underneath, it kind of blocks out all of my natural lashes that is really straight. Normally my natural lashes would poke down. Like especially if you have Asian lashes, I'm like with trouble. But now look, there's like no bottom lashes like poking, you know? I feel like they needed like a little magnet in the centre as well to make this bit lift up because this bit's a little bit saggy. Quickly put on the other lash and we'll be back. Okay, so I've got on the lashes now and oh my god, I actually really like them guys. They're so cool. You guys can see like when I go close up, can't really see the magnetic bits, can you? It looks really dark by the lash line. Can you see it from on top? I don't know what it looks like from on top. You guys tell me. 
So I like the way that they look on my eyes already. I don't think I'll need any more corner lashes or anything like that. So yeah, let's put on some lip product and then we're done. Okay, so on my lips, I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Liquid Lipstick. These are hot for press. They just arrived to my house not too long ago. It is the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick and they are an official sponsor of London Fashion Week. So inside here, I've got four shades, and it's so pretty, guys. I have, like, a dark purple, a light purple, an orangey, and a reddy shade. I'm going to go for this shade here, because I think it'll be the most amazing colour for the festive season. This colour looks insane. So I've done a video all about my top drugstore products, and I said I couldn't find a liquid lipstick. So let's try this out and see if it's a good one. Very pigmented, first off the bat. This colour's nice because it has like a bit of like a rosy tint to it. These kind of colours will make your teeth look really white, which is good because nobody wants no yellow teeth up in here. Guys, I like the fact that this brush has got like a little hole in the centre. So it leaves a lot of like liquid lipsticks and I don't have to constantly keep dipping back into the pot. Okay, I like it guys. Wow, that's so pigmented. Normally with a lot of liquid lipsticks that I find from drugs that they're really watery, but this colour is like pop pow, pow, pow. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do my hair and just get changed and stuff and I'll be back. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Please let me know down below. Will you be trying these magnetic eyelashes? What do you guys think of these eyelashes? Do they look cray cray? I don't know. Let me know down below. This will be such an amazing look for any parties that you have coming up and super super affordable all these products so please let me know down below if you want me to start trying some more fun things like this on my channel and do a little review and demos on it and stuff like that i think that'd be really really fun so if you guys haven't yet please make sure you subscribe and also follow me on all my other social media platforms it's just x or snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys so i'm going to use my smith 330 brush 330 330 god damn Okay, guys, so with my MAC 2330... <coughs> Alright, coffee, Mac Coffinson. You hear Grand Coffee in the background, he's ill. No, you can't hold it in. He's ill, but he still has to work. Don't you, Grand? So, oh, bitch. My phone is not on silent, guys. Oh, my God, I've got a bug in the nose. Oh, bitch. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Oh my god, my choker is a loose pussy right now. Oh my god, these earrings are so cute. They are from Miss Pat. Little ball bags on my ears. Yes, I love balls.